everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to do people occlusion detection or enable people occlusion in augmented reality using reality kit for flutter ios now unfortunately i can't show you guys the output because my device does not support people occlusion but i have recorded some output like uh, for from my device obviously it is not the correct output but i'll let you know what people occlusion is so here i am just started my flutter application okay and here uh, it is just asking me for camera permission i have given that particular per permission now it will place some uh, 3d model like a usdz model uh, inside our uh, inside our scene uh, make sure you have proper lighting uh, inside your uh, room uh, so that this 3d model should be placed automatically for you once it is placed what i am doing is that i am moving my hand over the camera as you can see as i am moving my hand this 3d model is not getting uh it is still visible right this is no this is what uh this is not the correct people occlusion so suppose if there is the floor uh which i can see from my camera if i place my hand over the camera the floor should not be visible right uh th but in our case the 3d model is still visible that's what is wrong uh so uh to do people occlusion uh again you need a specific i think a lidar sensor uh, but uh, unfortunately my device does not support that uh, so let's see how to enable it so here i have created our flutter application uh, then i have just refactored this home page widget so it is a stateless widget and here we are creating a custom widget called my ar view and we are making sure it occupies the entire width and height uh, so if you see over here my AR view we are just it is a stateless widget this is the identifier same you will have to use it on uh, iOS side as well and if it is iOS platform is iOS then only we display this UI kit view for everything else we just display a placeholder okay then you will have to open the XE workspace of iOS inside Xcode uh, firstly you will have to drag and drop some 3D model I am using this water can what, watering can USDZ model as you can see uh, you can just search for USDZ model. Uh, there is a lot of USDZ model uh, uh, applicable specifically on Apple's website. Just use any USDZ model. That's not the point of this tutorial. Also, inside your info.plist, you will have to give the camera permission. Uh, then you will have to go to over here. And inside minimum deployment, you will have to change it to at least iOS 14. As well as over here, you will have to change it to iOS 14. Then you will have to go to this app delegate file and here we register our uh, custom ios view uh, so this is the standard boilerplate code which we have to write you will have to we are using the same identifier which we have defined it on the flutter side also i have created one swift file called my air view native view factory which we are referencing over here so as you can see this is our swift file now again this is boilerplate code which you have to write uh, every time you are embedding a native ios view inside uh, flutter project uh okay so just copy paste it and here i am referencing another file called my ar view native view so for that i have created another swift file uh also i have uh, while running the application i got this message right because people occlusion is not supported in my device uh so in case after running this application you get similar uh message in your console that means your device also don't support it so here i have imported few imports like reality kit ar kit and combine here is our parent view here is our ar view and this can any cancelable is for combine so that we can asynchronously load this watering can model here we just initialize our ui view here we create our native view here we override this method so we return our view and here inside create native view we initialize our ar view then we uh, do ar view dot translates uh, so that it uh, occupies the entire width and height of the screen then we just do AR world tracking configuration, assign it to our AR view, and then we just do an AI anchor entity. And here you can see I am using the water watering can model. If you are using some different model, make sure you change the name of that. Then here I have just created one cancelable. So we are using combine to asynchronously load that particular model. Once it has been loaded, we just add it to our AR view and install the translation gesture as well now here comes the important part so all we have to do is arview.session.configuration as world tracking configuration and we just have to check whether it supports person segmentation with depth if no then we will get this people occlusion is not available if yes then uh, we just do config.frame segments.insert 
person segmentation with the depth and we just do here view dot session dot run config so yeah that's how we can enable people occlusion uh, thank you for watching bye